Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, the test build for the Quarterly Classic was a success, even though the live stream was not. Um, if you guys watched my last video, I was kind of announcing that I'm going to start doing this thing called the Quarterly Classic. I'm going to build four Tamiya kits in 2024, once a quarter. Uh, Tamiya, Tamiya, how do you say it? Anyway, um, so the Grasshopper was a test, and uh, yeah, my camera quit like halfway through because of a few things that I didn't think about. Anyway, uh, I did also stream it on another platform using my phone, which worked out fine, so it was like a half success, um, but it kind of, it was lame that it didn't work out on YouTube, because YouTube is the platform I wanted to stream it on the most. Anyway, so we are going to take the Grasshopper on its maiden voyage today. Uh, I have a new pack in it, I got another pack charging, and um, yeah, we'll just get a fun little run video going. As far as the build went, super easy. Uh, the only hard part is like the rear tires. Um, I don't know if there is a special technique that these folks are using when they build these rear Tamiya wheels and tires, but getting that tire into the, uh, or the middle piece into the tire is a test of strength, and I mean that very literally. Um, but we got it done. We got them on. I needed pliers. I needed screwdrivers and other kinds of pry tools, but it worked out just fine. Um, I think it looks good. Actually, I think it looks the best it's going to look. I am not the biggest expert in decal uh, application, but I got it as close to the box as I possibly can. If you have a good eye, you'll probably notice a couple areas where I might not have put a decal in the right area, but um, I'm pretty darn happy with the way it looked. Uh, so anyway, with that being said, it's a Tamiya kit. Um, if you know a lot about these, then I'm, you don't need to hear anything about it. Uh, if you're new to RC, might be something that you're into, um, but expect the performance to be that of something from 1984. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go take it for a rip. We'll come back, we'll talk about it, and that'll be a video. <laughs> Alright you guys, we're back from running the Grasshopper and uh, yeah, it was a blast. Um, I didn't mean to thrash it as much as I did, like it, the body is certainly scratched up and there's dirt everywhere and, and I mean there is damage now <laughs> to this uh, Grasshopper chassis. But um, yeah, honestly I was having too much fun. I was having too much fun to just get the shots and go uh, like I had originally thought I was going to do. Uh, I was running a 4,000 milliamp LiPo just like this, uh, just a little Amazon brand, Gart Pot is what it says on it. Uh, by the way, these are actually pretty good, just so you know. I've had great luck with them. But um, yeah, the Grasshopper's a blast, uh, and I couldn't help but think while I was driving it around that like, you know, just this is what it's all about. Sure, we have higher performing stuff nowadays. The more modern RC cars are like leagues beyond what the grasshopper is, but it doesn't mean the grasshopper is not fun. And in a lot of cases, I think this is actually more fun than I've had in RC in quite some time. I couldn't help but just smile the entire time. And it, it was fun. It could jump. It did like burnouts and it did donuts and all this fun stuff. Like it was a really, really fun time at the construction site. Uh, I really also liked how the construction site had some rough terrain as well as some smoother terrain. So you could get that whole like not oil filled shocks, bouncing kind of thing going on. It was really great. And honestly, if you were a child in the 80s and you had this on your Christmas wish list and you're talking fondly about the Grasshopper and the Hornet today, I just want you to know that I completely get it now. Um, not the first older Tamiya that I've driven, and it certainly isn't the first Tamiya kit that I've built, but I, I just felt like I really had that experience this time. Uh, I built it, you know, and then some days went by and I put the stickers all on it, the decals, and then some more days went by and it was looking perfect and I just went out and thrashed it. And it was fantastic. It was the best thing ever. Um, so I am kind of sorry to myself that I 
thrashed the green version. Uh, the reason I got the green version is because this kit was only $93. The white one is actually more expensive for some reason. So I went for this kind of just because it was a value proposal to me. But now it's all scratched up and it's limited edition, so I'm kind of like, hmm. I'm not really an RC collector. I'm certainly more of an enthusiast who drives all of my RC cars, and this is going to be a runner. And I might even upgrade it a little bit. Who knows? Uh, we'll have to see what's out there. Uh, in the video, or how it is right now, how it's ran, uh, this thing is box stock. 380 motor still in there. Um, but I did put bearings in because why not while I'm building it, right? Bearings are pretty cheap. And yeah, the 380 motor, like the, the efficiency on that thing is crazy. Like I, I could have probably ran two hours straight. It felt like, like I was at least an hour and a half in before I decided like, okay, it's time to go. It's getting cold. Um, so th that's pretty amazing. And yeah, it had, it had enough power to be fun for sure. I can understand why people upgrade and put the 540 in there, but, um, it had enough power to be fun, and it was, it was a good time. I have a brushless 382 that might fit in there, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not quite sure what the plan is with this grasshopper, but I can tell you for sure that I will certainly drive it. It's not going to be limited to just self shelf queen status. So if you're wondering to yourself, uh, should I build a Tamiya grasshopper and take it out and have fun with it, then the answer is yes. But if it's gonna be your first RC car, I would probably recommend that you keep in mind that this is not the performance that we're getting with uh, the new stuff these days. It's still fun, it's an absolute blast, and it's it's great. If you're into RC and you've been into RC for a while and you want something different, then I would definitely recommend uh, building yourself an older Tamiya kit, Grasshopper, Hornet, whatever. That's pretty much all I gotta say about that. We're gonna be building another uh, older Tamiya kit here pretty soon. Um, January, I think, is actually what I'm planning for, so we'll have to see what that brings along. But for this video, I think we're about done. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a like. And if you like this type of content, you should subscribe because I post, try to post at least one video a week, uh, and it's all RC content. We'll see you next time.